see behind me, we just got some beautiful red fox. Um, we had a set right here. We I had a double dirt hole. Um, Caven's Minnesota Red in one, Dunlap's uh, Damnation in the other, and set out in front. And I don't know if you can hear down in there, but there's uh, one of Tom Randa's squeaker that was down in there too. And uh, we were throwing out all the stops. So um, again, we got us a, a beautiful red and uh, up here on Kodiak Island. So this is super cool, man. This is cool. But uh, I mean, and then look at look at this behind us. I mean, these trees have got to be a couple hundred years old. Some of them are just absolutely huge. Uh, just a, a cool, cool wilderness environment. As you can see, we got us another beautiful red fox um, out here on Kodiak Island, and we just uh, reset this one yesterday. We had a catch here yesterday, so we reset it, and uh, we got some trail camera footage when we had that other one caught. Another one had come in, and it might be this one. Another one had come in and took off, went up and around, and uh, <laughs> so. I mean, this is amazing. First check of the day, and our first set of the day that we was checking, and uh, another another awesome red. So um, we'll get this one dispatched and uh, get on down the line. But just awesome, just incredible. What an awesome experience out here at Kodiak. See if we can't hear the squeaker down in there. Squeaker, still squeaking. <laughs> How's that? It don't get no bad, it's cool, man. the season uh, we're taking some pelts off the boards um, these fox right here these are actually uh, fox that uh, me and my good buddy um, Rob Caven uh, caught up on uh, Kodiak Island last year um, and uh, I had them on the boards I just pulled them off and uh, it, it just you know I always find it fascinating whenever I grab a hold of one of these and I'm like man if people could only see or you know touch or whatever these just incredible specimens of fox compared to you know our normal fox i always thought that'd be kind of cool so anyways just a little comparison video um this is a this is a really big fox by the way this is a big michigan fox this was a male um i think it was somewhere 15 to 17 pounds it was a really good male um and then what we got over here is basically uh coyote size fox you know female coyote size anyways um they're just i mean look at these tails they're just, <laughs> they're just look at this tail compared to the and this one's all fluffy because it's been tanned look at the diff i mean there's there there's absolutely no comparison um rob actually caught this one i caught this this one was a female if i remember correctly uh, we've got a couple up there um but this one was a male and uh, just look at the absolute thickness, the heaviness, how dense they are. Um, it's just these creatures up there, they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, you trap them in this majestic island, you know, and uh, it's just super, super cool. And so to me, you know, these pelts are memories that last a lifetime, you know, with an experience that I shared with a, 
with an absolute great buddy of mine. Um, you know, to me that to me that's priceless. You know, that 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 will last an absolute lifetime. Um, and so, anyways, just thought I would share this because uh, not everybody gets to see you know the the difference. You know, so basically a a male lower forty eight big one, a female Kodiak, and then a male um, Kodiak just. Unreal. Look at those suckers. <laughs> they're, they're awesome, man. Just awesome, awesome pelts. So anyways, just wanted to take a minute to uh, share that with y'all. And, uh, you know, thank you all for following us and uh, appreciate you. We'll see you all down the line. So thank you. Looking good?